What is going on guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial slash guide type thing on the new nightclub DLC. Uh, you are able to run your own nightclub now. And um, so what you first want to do is you want to pull up your phone. You want to go to Maze Bank Foreclosures. This is where you are going to find the nightclub. Uh, you can click nightclubs right here to sort it. And here you go. These are all the nightclubs right here. Uh, I bought this one. It is 1.7 mil. It is the most expensive one. Uh, and once again it doesn't matter literally they all look the same on the inside they all function the same there's no upper advantage that I get in buying that one um, the only difference is the outside like look of it um, so there, there's really no point so you can just buy whatever which one you want um, it's just like the facilities and bunkers on it's just location um, but so once you buy it you are able to renovate it pretty pretty good I guess a lot or whatever um, you can do all these once again it's just it's just preference how you want it to look they don't do anything um, other than aesthetics um, but yeah I did the nightclub style I just I maxed mine out so I just picked everything that's the most expensive I did the most expensive light rig nightclub name um, the storage is where it actually becomes functional you can buy five floors of storage facility and four floors of garage um, once again I don't know if you need five floors um, but there you go you can if you want uh, dancers once again just random and then you can buy dry ice which I did <laughs> so kind of random but once you buy that uh, you're gonna want to drive to your um, new nightclub and you're gonna have to sit through a good six minute cutscene and then once you do that, you're gonna wanna come up to where I am right now. It's gonna look all like warehousey and stuff. And you wanna come to this computer right here and you're gonna have to do three setup missions. You're gonna have to pick up equipment, pick up your staff, and then pick up the DJ, I believe. And um, once you do that, you come back here and it's like, actually the party's going, it's pumping, whatever. Uh, here, here, you guys can look at my lights and see like if you guys, this is the max lights, I guess. That's what it looks like. You got the DJ pump, but I'm gonna step away because it's freaking loud over there. Um, but so once you're once you're there, you can come to this computer and you've done all the setup missions. You come to this computer and you're gonna be able to see this home screen here in a second. Uh, access the app. So you see the screen and so you can see your nightclub popularity that starts maxed and it will go down over time. <clears throat> and in order to keep that up. You're gonna want to go to your nightclub management and then promote the club. So, like, if 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 you see your popularity down, you do a mission, and you have to super cool mission that you do. It's crap, but um, yeah. So, if you want to keep your popularity up, you want to just click cl uh, click the promote club and do the mission. Um, as you can see, it's getting 10,000 daily income right now. The less popular, the less money you're gonna get. Um, you can hold up to 70,000 blah 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 resident uh, DJ you, there's no other options so you're stuck with this guy until they drip feed us more uh, warehouse management it's pretty much like all of the other like warehouses kinda you <clears throat> hire a guy you come with it comes with this guy and he's already on the cargo and shipments but you can hire this guy if you wanna if you want it to go faster like over time they will get you to stuff or whatever so I, I just hired two guys. Oh, you can only sign one, whatever. And so this is locked because you, you have to set up your um, like weed farm and stuff like that. And I don't have that set up right now. But if you want to get more goods faster, you hire more people. There you go. And it will show you all your um, goods accrued. Um, then you go to your sell goods. And so here's where it gets kind of important. Uh, you can do these spell special orders. Um, so you can do like eight of printing and copying to blah 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 and you, and you can sell them like this and you can get a decent profit margin or you can fill up your like I would never just sell just random stuff like if you have like 10 goods of just random stuff I wouldn't just sell that because you're not gonna get as much as you can if you just kept going um, but if you do like 50 50 cargo and shipments you're gonna get a, um, a money boost if you do zero, 100 of 100 sporting goods you're gonna get a boost if you fill out all of these all at once you're gonna get a massive boost um, that's just how they work in every 
um, new like warehouse selling thing that they release um, but yeah I wouldn't just randomly sell just random shit I would just wait until you have either these sell special orders or if you finish out an entire cargo and shipments or South American imports or something like that and then you can also buy uh, equipment upgrades to make them work faster staff upgrades security upgrades to lessen the chance that you're gonna be attacked by enemies um, but yeah there you go that's a quick tutorial of how it works you're gonna get money through your daily income from the nightclub and you're also gonna be able to sell goods for money um, do I, is it worth buying a nightclub? Pff, I don't know. If you, if, if you want to do something in GTA other than just what you've been doing for the last three months, I guess. But that's my tutorial. That's my quick guide. If I missed anything, let me know and, uh, have a nice day.